to me, the music is, is the whole, you know, background to, to all the dancing, you know. The music is just, it's just there and just swinging. It looks like you just, you know, you feel like you just want to swing right along with it. The music, whatever that music is telling you, and your body's just moving right along with it, you know, and it looks like you say, well, I'm going to get down, man. You know, I want to stretch out, Jim. I want to, I want to do this. I want to do that. And, and the music is saying, "Yeah, do this." This videotape will teach you intermediate social style Lindy Hop. You'll build on the basic rhythms and footwork that make up the dance and develop better communication with your partner. You'll learn nine intermediate level moves and more of the traditional styling that has made Lindy Hop the American social dance. The moves you'll learn are options on the basic, Pecking. The double turn. Handshake behind the back. Hand to hand Charleston. Mini dip. <laughs> Around the world with points. Well, I want to tell you, you know, what to do. <laughs> well, here, there, and everywhere. <laughs> here we come. Glide to the side with shake time. <laughs> Going away. Slip slop. Like Lindy Hop 1, this videotape is divided into sections, three sections each with three moves. Frankie and Aaron will dance each move up to speed, then follow with instruction, and finally slow motion dance. We will signal you each time they begin a new move. And now, options on the basic. going forward and as you can see after that first tape uh, Aaron and I have become very familiar with each other and now uh, Aaron is going to show the ladies a little styling a little difference in the way that you turn the way that you switch and little things like that and I'm going to show the fellas uh, a movement of what the fella does 
that sometimes he can put his foot behind and sometimes he can put his foot in front. But right now, let's let Erin tell you what she's going to show. Okay. In the level one video, we showed the women's basic footwork like this. One, two, three, and four, five. Hook back. Face your partner on seven and eight. We're going to give you an option now that is very standard, and you should mix both of these and use them both. It will be a one, two, three, and four. But from here, I'm going to travel out straight. So I'm going to walk straight on my five, six. And seven and eight, I will turn back around to face him. So the men just have to really make sure that you're releasing your partner in time. Let go of your partner so she can get out. And that's true even if we were doing the original basic. The men still need to let go of their partner so that she can get out. And OK, while the girl is doing her little variation, there's a little variation that the fellas can do. Now, I have been asked this question before. Uh, what is appropriate or what is the standard? Should I hook my foot behind, my right foot behind my left foot, or should I bring my right foot in front? Now, this is what I mean when I say right foot in front, right in back. I guess you say, what the heck is he talking about? OK, this is what I'm talking about. You have one, two, three, and four. Now here, five, you notice I put my right foot behind my left foot, and I continue to move. Now I show you putting that right foot in front. It's just a variation, and the count is the same. So don't say, well, do we have to do front, or do we have to do back? You can do front and back. So this is how it goes. A one, two, three, and four, front step, and again, we have one, two, three, and four, back. And again, front, one, two, three, and four, front. So at the same time that the girl is moving out, we are, a, we are gonna do those two movements. That she can do whatever she wants to do. And you, at the same time, gonna do whatever you want to do with your feet, all right? All right, here we go. One, two, three, and four, five, six, seven, and eight. In front, two, three, and four, front, seven, and eight. Ladies, this time we'll have you travel out straight and men cross back. Men release her and let her go out. Again, one, two men cross front this time. Think, place her, release her, let her go. Ladies take the original style, and men notice the count. He pulls five, let's go six, seven, and eight. That completes options on the basic. And now, pecking. Now we're going to show you another little step that you can do while you socializing in a, in a ballroom. And this step is called pecking. And what you try to visualize is uh, you, you see a hen on a farm in the backyard. And when they're walking along the ground, they're going like this. So every uh, kind of movement and dancing is taken from life, or taken from something that has been seen. So this is one of the steps that was taken from a chicken. So we call it pecking. And this is how it will look. OK, OK. We have one, two, three, and four, five, six, seven, and eight. One, two, three, and four, and peck, 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 and eight. One, two, three, and four, and peck, peck. Peck and eight and one, two, three, and four, and peck, peck, peck and eight. Okay, some of you are gonna be able to really stick your head out there when you're pecking because uh, I mean even hens can do <laughs> some hens can peck better than some others. So <laughs> the human gonna be doing the same thing. So here we're gonna go with a circle. You're doing one, two, three, and four, circle around seven and eight. 
Now you get ready to start your pecking. You rock back one, two, three. And you bring the girl around in front of you. And she is looking at you. And you're looking at her. And you want to be funny. Well, I mean, she look at you and say you're funny anyway. But <laughs> you want to do this to make her laugh. So you, you squat down just in front of her. You take the step. OK? Again, I want to just try that little movement again. You have one, two, three, and four. If you notice, you hold on that three and four. So you have one, two, three, and four, five, six, triple step to the side, step, and back in front of you again, and five, six, seven, and eight, and one, two, three, four, five, six, triple step, and one, two, three, four, five, six, triple step, one, two, three, four, five, six, triple step, and rock. What I feel is the follower is that from this closed position, we would have an option. He could step in front of me, and it would be a swing out. But I don't feel that. Instead, I feel him push me in front. And from there, he holds. So I want you to see that I'm swept out into this position. And this is very solid. He stops, and that's why I stop, because I feel the motion come to a halt. Then he walks me, and we go back to our eight count with a five, six, seven, and eight. He moves right up to my side. We'll do it again. He pushes me out, and we hold. And we walk, walk, seven, and eight. Boom. And the women have the option of pecking. We can peck with him if we want, or we can look at him and go, oh, stop it some more. <laughs> so, so from here, I can peck with him. All up. Or let him peck alone. <laughs> Men swinger in front, and then walk, walk, seven, and eight again. One, two, swing her in front, walk five, six, seven, and eight. That completes pecking. Next, the double turn. OK, we've just finished doing the pecking, and at the end of the pecking, we are in a closed position. Well, if you can remember from the first tape, from the closed position, we did a swing out. But this time, I'm going to show you an option. Instead of doing a swing out from the closed position, we're going to do what you call a double turn. And that starts like this. You have a rock step. One, two, three, and four. Bring your left hand up over to your partner's head. Take your right hand and turn your partner. Keep your hand up there so that she will turn twice. Because if you bring it down, she will stop turning when your hand comes down. So now you want her to turn twice. So you have one, two, three, and four. Turn, turn, seven, and eight. That is the count for that. Now, as I said before, ladies are very smart. So you don't want to do this. Two, three, and four, five, six. You don't want to do this and then try to bring it back up because that is what will happen. So you want to keep that hand up there. You want to do one, two, three, and four, five, six, seven, and eight. One, two, tuck her in front. Right hand sends her out. Left hand stays right above her head to keep her turning. Let's take it again. And one, two, three, and four, five, six, seven, and eight. Here's a review of section one. When you feel confident with the material, move on to section two.
And now, the handshake behind the back. Uh, since this is an intermediate class and we have shown you some steps that you can use while you're social dancing, we would like to show you a few more. Uh, first step we, we would like to show you is, uh, well, I, I, I call it the handshake behind the back turn. Now, just let me do that. I want to demonstrate that because I want to show you why I call it the handshake behind the back. Now, you're with your partner in this position and you start one, two, three, and four. And when you grasp your partner's hand, you change hands and grasp your partner's hand, it's like you're shaking her hand behind or her back. So that is why I call it the handshake behind the back. And, you, and that the finish of that particular step, and don't forget that you're still doing eight counts. So you have one, two, three, and four, and five, you reach for her hand. You change hands from your left to your right. So let's just try that move again. You have one, two, three, and four, five. If you notice, I changed hands there. Let's try it again. You have one, two, three, and four, five. That's when you change hands. Now you're going to continue to move. The girl is going to turn because you have her hand here. You are going to turn her in this position there. And she's going to finish up that way. Now that the count as you go, the fellas and the girls are doing the same amount of counts with the same footwork. You have one, two, three, and four, five, six, seven, and eight. Now the girl is going to, while she's turning, she's going to turn on five and six. She's going to finish the turn on seven and eight. But let's notice that again. You have one, two, three, and four, five, six, seven, and eight. And what I feel when he's leading the handshake behind the back turn is, the first thing, he pulls me in and the arm comes down low. From there, he switches the hand, passing it to the other hand, but he keeps it low as he turns me. And that's really important, guys, so you're not pulling back and knocking her over. Stays low, and as I turn around, he just lets the fingers adjust in his hand. And one, two, three, and four, five, six, seven, and eight. So men. Make sure that you keep the hand low. You're changing the hand, not pulling her, and letting the fingers adjust. One, two, three, and four. Keep that hand low. Let her turn, and fingers adjust. That completes handshake behind the back. Next, hand-to-hand -hand Charleston. Okay, we just came out of that position and we land up like this with your partner's right hand and your right hand. Now you're going to change your hand position. If you notice the hand is still in the handshake position, but you're going to change it to a lock position like this. And we're going to do what we call a hand to hand Charleston step. Now this step is pretty common among Lindy Hoppers, so it should be nice for you to do when you are social dancing. Now the step, as I say, is called hand to hand because you change hands from one hand to other. So this is the, how the step goes. You kick to your left with your right foot. The lady kicks to her left, left her right with foot. her right foot. And on those counts, it's two counts to each kick. And if you remember when I told you in the beginner's tape, you kick from the knee. 
Never swing your leg like this. You're going to kick this way, like it's from the knee. That is the Charleston step. So we will try to go on from there. Here we go to the hand-to-hand -hand Charleston, which is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And hand to hand charges. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Kick and kick step. 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 And one, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Keep the resistance between the arms and keep the bounce going. Keep the bounce. And think, kick out, in, out, step down, out, and kick. That completes hand to hand Charleston. Next, mini dip. to show you how to come out of the hand-to-hand -hand Charleston going into a step that we call the mini dip. Now we had just finished doing the hand-to-hand -hand Charleston. Now there's going to be a little tricky footwork here for the guys. For the ladies you're just going to do a plain rock step. So you have your, her right hand and yours and you do the last kick Charleston here. Now you're going to Take your right hand and her right hand, and you're going to push her back into a rock. And as you are here, fellas, and what you're going to do is bring your right foot down quickly and bring your left foot back. So it'll be in the same time with your partner. So again, that kick is here, step down for the fellas. Again, that step is here, step down. And this is going to lead you into a step we call the mini dip. Now this is when, the, when your partner steps back, rocks back on her right foot, you rock back on your left foot, and you go one, two, three, four, five, come up on six, and to a finger snap. Now here's a, the count of that. We're going to do the count from the rock step, which is one, two, three, four. If you notice, that's a two count there. You have one, two, three, four, five, and six. And as you bring your left leg up, you're going to finger pop. You pop your right hand, and the ladies is on her left foot. She's going to pop her left hand and her Right leg is raised. Again, we would like to try that. The step is one, two, three, four, five, and six. As I said before, we just came out of the hand to hand with a little tricky step for the fellas. So the last kick and the hand to hand Charleston is here. Now you're going to kick out, fellas and you're going to bring your right foot down here and step back. And as you do that, you're going to push your partner back into a rock step. So let's do that kick here, step down. And as you notice, the girl is holding her feet up. So here, step down. Once again, you have here, step down, and and pop. Okay? Ready? Okay. Kick step one, two, three, four, five, six. Again. Kick step 
one, two, three, four, five, six. And this is how that goes from the hand-to-hand charson. Hand to hand, there, kick, 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 and kick step one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, we're going to show you the mini dip again, but we're going to show you how it works from many positions. The one we're going to show you right now is just a simple handshake behind the back. So you can see you could take it any time from that position. If we just change the hands behind the back, then the mini dip is a one, two, three, four, five, six, and you're done with it, okay? But we're going to take it now from your hand-to-hand Charleston. So now you have to change the rhythm slightly. You've got an extra kick step before you go into it. So from here, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven again, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. You have a kick step, then one, two, Three, four, five, six. And that's it. Starting from the end of your hand to hand Charleston, men step down to rock. Step, pull and hold, then step, pop, and step. We'll take it again. Starting from the same place, finishing your hand to hand Charleston, ladies, bring the leg up, then rock. Step, you step down into it, step across, and pop, hold, step, step. One more time and let's count it. Finishing your hand to hand Charleston. One, two, three, hold four, turn five, six, one, and two. Travel in on three and four if you're returning to a basic. Here is a review of section two. When you feel confident with the material, you may move on to section three. And now, glide to the side with shake time. We are going to show you a little step, a little uh, uh, kind of a glide step that's going to end up with shake time. I call it shake time because that's what Aaron and I will be doing. We will be shaking. And I would like to, uh, you know, really, I would like to see how some of you guys out there shake. I mean, I've taught this stuff before. Guys, you don't shake so hot. But anyway, I'm going to try to show you how to do this little glide and shake time. OK? All right, we're going to start out doing a basic step. And it goes like this, one, two, three, and four, five, six, seven, and eight. One, two, three, four, shake, time is what you do. And that goes, you have a, when you come over, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and you get ready to start your next step. Now, maybe we should try that again from the other angle, okay? You have one, two, three, and four, five, six, seven, and eight, cross, plant, plant, and shake. Seven, eight. I feel when we take this step that we come around and from here I don't know that he's going to open up until he pulls this arm through. So he's carrying me 
through by going step, and right here he gets me to cross over because that arm takes me there. Then I'm matching his movement and we're traveling to the side. And from here he crosses me again with his hand and we step down and we plant. Three. We're holding the count of four. We're shaking on five, six, seven, and you have to get ready to step out of it and be back on the one. Fellas, even though I can't see you in the camera, I know you need a little practice in shaking. So, I mean, don't mistake the fact that the girl is standing in front of you and your attention is on her, but also you want to give her a little incentive. So I'm going to show you exactly how you do this. And remember that you're going to do it to the rhythm as you shake. Everything is done in rhythm. Uh, so don't be watching Aaron too much. <laughs> Guys, <laughs> ladies, you are supposed to watch Aaron, <laughs> not me. <laughs> okay, here we go. We're going to shake. A one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. A one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Can we just shake that one more time? And one, two, bring her in and travel her trip step, think, cross, and plant, and shake time. Seven and eight. One, two, bring her in, travel, travel, seven and eight, think one, two, plant, and shake. Six, seven, eight. That completes glide to the side with shake time. And now, slip slop. The slip slop is instead of uh, the girl twisting and instead of the guy rocking back on seven and eight and one and two. Uh, fellas, you're going to raise your right leg and pull to the right. I mean, you're, you raise your right leg and pull with that right leg and drop it. Then you raise your left leg and pull to the left and drop it. Raise your right leg, pull, drop, left, pull, drop, right, pull, drop, left, pull, drop, right, pull, drop, left, pull, drop. Okay, so now we're going to do it in the actual counts that you'll be using. So when you begin this, it would be coming out of a basic, it would be at the end of the basic, on the count of seven, eight. The women would be slipping with their left and the men with their right. So it would go a five, six, seven, eight, then one and two, three and four. We'll do that again. So it's a five, six, seven, eight, one, and two, three, and four. We'll do it a one more time. Well, all right. <laughs> a five, six, seven, eight, one, and two, three, and four. We have broken down the step of the slip slot. Now we're going to show you how you do it when you're dancing with your partner. And just remember that rhythm is the name of the game. So you want to do a one, a two, three, four, a five, a six, a rhythm time. So it goes like this. A one, two, three, and four, five, six, seven, eight, one, and two, three, and four, five, six, seven, eight, one, and two, three, and four, five, six, seven, eight, one, and two, three, and four, five, six, seven, eight, one, and two, three, and four, five, six, seven, eight, one, and two, three, and four, five, six, seven, eight, one, and two. Take a moment to feel the music. And one, two, three, and four, five, six, seven, eight. One and two, travel back in. Five, six, slide seven, step eight. One and two, three and four. Five, six, slide, step, slide and step, triple step. 
One more time. Slide, step, slide, and step. That completes slip slop. Next, around the world with points. Okay, now we're going to show you a, a, one other little step that you can do when you're out dancing and you're socializing. But on this particular step, your partner is going to have to know what you're doing. Because if she doesn't, then she's going to be there shaking while you're trying to do this particular step. And we call it around the world with the points. And again, I'm emphasizing the fact that you want to use some rhythm in these steps and each one that we give you. Now, these steps are a lot of fun, so you can play with it. You play with your partner, you can play with, well, whoever is around, you know. So it goes something like this. As I said, it's called Around the World in the Points. Now, we're going to do it a couple of times, then we're going to break it down for you, OK? OK. Now, here's how it starts. One, two, three, and four, up and around seven and eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, and four, five, six, seven, and eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. We're going to break this step down for you. And what I want you to notice is that uh, I've taught this step before, and generally, the fella does not know which way he should go under, under the arm. Now, when you do this, you're going to do the basic beginning, which is one, two, three, and four. Now, you have your partner's hand here. You're going to bring that up over her head as you start to turn, and you are going to follow your left hand all the way around. You separate it. And you follow that left hand all the way around. And you will come back. Your partner will hold her hand. She will not drop it there and search for your hand. She will hold her hand there, and you will grasp it again. And you will do something like a one, two. You'll point your left foot for the fellas, right foot for the, foot for the girls. And that's two counts. One, two. This is three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. And you step back on one again. Now, we're going to show you, like the beginning, with these two steps combined. And there is a lead that you guys are going to have to give the girl. Because when you do one, two, three, and four, if you notice my right hand is here. Now I'm going to bring my left hand up, but I'm going to take my right hand and pivot, turn the girl like this. You give her that this little, from here, you give her that little turn. And you continue turning until you get around again. And you start it all over again, like with the points. Here and here. Ba boom. One, two, three, and four. Five, six, seven, eight. And one, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, and eight. Now, as I said before, you can kind of play with this a little bit. You know, after you get around here, you want to do the points. You can shake your finger at your partner and back at the audience and I get your partner again. Little things like that you can do, you know? So uh, this is a very fun step to do because you can be ooh, ah, and mm, mm, nah, ah, ah, ah. You know, like any little thing that you feel like you want to do just to make it, you know, like a lot of fun. Uh, uh. Ba -bum -bum. So this is a fun step to do when you want to dance, you're out socializing, and uh, uh, you know, you got a lot of people around you, and they said, 
Oh, wow, what's that you're doing, man? You say, oh, well, I'm just doing around the world and the points, you know. <laughs> you know? And then everybody will say, oh, show me that. So uh, that's a fun step to be doing. How about it, Aaron? <laughs> and eight, one, two, three, and four, five, six, seven, and eight. One, hold two, three, hold four, five, six, seven, and eight. One, two, three, and four. We both turn clockwise. Heel and toe and heel. Six, seven, and eight. That completes section three. Here's a review of all the moves covered in this videotape. When you feel confident with the material in Lindy Hop 2, move on to the advanced videotape, Frankie Manning's Lindy Hop Level 3.